Hey guys, it's Kyle from Kyle's Digital Lab here. Um, today we are looking at a Sony Beta Movie BMC 110 that I picked up um, new in the box. You can see the box right up there. I picked this up from Shop Goodwill for about $66 and it was in perfect condition and I got it and I powered it up. But when I powered it up, I knew that there was something terribly wrong with it. There were two warning signs. The first one was that the caution light was on all the time. And the second warning was that it always complained about low light, even when I had the camera pointed out, uh, out my window. So, and the other thing was when I put in a tape and did a recording, there would be audio but there'd be a black screen. Nothing was being recorded as video. There was no video from the camera. And so that led me to believe that unfortunately this this uh, camera has died. Its pickup tube, which is about located right about here, has died, uh, causing the camera not to display anything. And so I took the camera apart as an autopsy procedure. Uh, this is the back of the camera that you can see. This is like the main board here. Um, I'm not really sure. It says encode there. I'm not sure what's done on this board, but you can see you can see some surface mount components along with most of the stuff, which is through hole and a bunch of wires going everywhere. These things were really jam packed. Um, uh, but I'll show you what happens. Um, what the result of this autopsy was, uh, I'll show you the back of the camera that has the tape in it. I guess I can do that. There's the front of the camera with the power input and the head drum that's really small and that's the tape I have in there. Uh, but I want to show you guys what the problem is and what the result of our autopsy was. So I'm going to put power to this thing, which uh, is going to be a little bit of a pain to do with one hand. Uh, if I can do it correctly, hold on. Okay, so I have the camera plugged in, and through here you can see the pickup tube. Now, I'm, I want you to watch closely when I hit the power button, what you see. I don't know if you can see that very clearly, but you can actually see that the tube itself is arcing. Now, it's kind of hard to hear because the tape, the head drum is running, but I'm not actually recording anything to it. Uh, but you can clearly see, if I turn off the flashlight, that's probably why you can't see it. There you go. You can see that, that tube, the tube, the Satacon tube, it is lighting up. And that means that it's arcing. And um, it's high voltage that's in the circuit. In fact, there's actually high voltage on this board, especially right around here. Um, there's a few pins. See this? This is actually high voltage right here. Which, yep, you can see it arc. And I, uh, do that. But, um, yeah, there's like probably about 300 volts in this camera, and it's arcing right there because the vacuum seal has failed. So, that is the cause of death for this BMC 110. A dead Satacon tube. And it seems like a lot of these beta movies have dead tubes. This is not the first beta movie that I've came across with a dead tube. Uh, about two years ago, I had another another BMC 110, and it had the same exact issue. Um, so yeah, and plus, if you if you put, if you put your fingers right between those two solder joints, you'll get a shock, as you can see. Um, I don't know what the voltage is. I'll probably measure it off camera, but you can see we got high voltage. Um, so I'm probably going to put the camera back together and just sell it as parts because the mechanism on it is still good. The mechanism mechanism works completely, but the camera portion you can see is completely, it's completely fucked because of the tube just doing that. And yeah, this camera is probably never going to work again because replacing that tube, first of all, even to get to that tube requires a bunch of disassembly that I'm not even willing to do. Um, and it also, I'd have to find a, the, an exact replacement, which good luck doing that in 2022. And then I'd actually have to install it, which actually requires specialized equipment. So here's some of the other parts I took out of it. You can see the ser serial number and look how blue that eject button is. This camera was really promising that it could have worked, but 
unfortunately no and if you're wondering where this camera came from it did not come from like florida or something like that it actually came from canada so i don't know why the two failed i guess it's just not it just from just being powered off for so many years that it has just died i'm filming this on my phone camera because i actually don't have a camera right now but i thought i'd make this video because i just wanted to make a video about something um i haven't uploaded in a while i'm trying to get a camera as you can see it just shut itself down but um yeah i'm gonna put this back together i don't know what i'm gonna do with it really because it's virtually a paperweight because the tube is dead uh, I guess I'll just sell it off for parts and keep the box. I don't know. Um, but I guess that concludes a little episode, I guess. A, a little mini tidbit where I kind of autopsied a beta movie. So that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I'll see you guys later.